Hi, welcome to the video. Today we're going to be staining the Teledactyl guitar build. So I'm not the normal person to be doing it. I am Matt J.S. Moore, artist and illustrator. So Harry sent me over the guitar, which I'm going to go and stain. So first thing I'm going to do is look at the grooves and how smooth it is and then uh, go over it all with sandpaper, sandpaper 400 grit. Next I'm just going to go over it all with some alcohol just to get rid of all the excess sawdust and whatnot. So the first layer will be uh, dark. I'll be working from dark to lighter shades. So the first layer will be in the grooves and it will be four parts brown, one part black, with some water in it. It's just to thin it out a little bit. So I don't want it to be too dark. This will be the darkest I go. Uh, I was considering using black uh, to do all the grooves, but I think that it might be a bit too a bit too dark, so I'm going to be doing it this way. This layer actually took the longest out of all the process. Uh, I don't know why, it's just painting in all the grooves, but yeah, it took ages. Now the way I would normally do it is, uh, I'd well, normally do a sunburst, but, um, because I'm not sanding it back. I'm just uh, patting the green on, making sure it gets in, into the grain. Uh, and then I'll go over that with a bit of yellow.
So the first thing I'll do is spray some water on it and then uh, rub it in a little bit. But uh, I soon found out that this was quite a mistake as it is, it's better to, uh, well with this kind of thing, just use it dry because uh, obviously with a lot of water it's going to bleed and when you're doing the grooves it's not ideal. So after this I quickly learned that I should stop treating it as a guitar and more as a painting because there's quite a few layers but uh, doing it the way that I've done it did stop me from uh, doing any sanding back so if I was doing some sunburst uh, I wouldn't really be able to sand it back so I'll have to do it with just like with water be um, putting the red in the wings so with this I used uh, scrunched up paper and I went through so much so much kitchen roll and there's my second mistake absolute butter fingers I can actually just rectify this with uh, sanding it back a little bit I mean I didn't want to sand back but in this case it's fine but the walls of um, wings was particularly tricky. i just like to point out that um, I'm not really much of a technology man so uh, yeah I'm recording on a DSLR, a uh, pretty basic one at that and I'm recording audio on a telephone This is the only bit that I had to sand back just because I spilt red paint on it like a bloody idiot. So I've sanded it back and put a layer of green over the top of it whilst spilling some because I've got butter fingers apparently. pop some red spots on the scales. You won't really be able to see this when it's uh, finished because it's going to have a green and a bit of brown over the top of it but you'll be able to see a bit so added detail. Next I went over the grooves with 
paintbrush in red and orange and a bit of blue. Staining the pterodactyl has been an unusual experience, not because of the actual staining, it's been quite straightforward. I've just never video recorded myself working before. I generally dislike anyone being in the room, let alone having a video camera watching. Same with the recording of the audio, it's all been rather alien. Anyway, it's back to the usual chap next time, in which he'll be finishing with oil and setting up the guitar. So it should be quite interesting. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Bye.